Black Widow is insanely powerful in this game. Her invisibility is the best defense in the whole game. If you don't have to worry about being targeted, you can comfortably make a glass cannon build, a build that's always critting and doing insane damage. This is my only exotic in this slot, and it's the third gear perk that makes it good. Grant Smoke Grenade after defeating an enemy while overcharged or when perfectly evading. An important distinction to make note of is that there isn't a chance of activation associated with this perk. It activates 100% of the time, either action is performed, and both actions are very easy to pull off. Smoke Grenade effect makes Widow invisible for a short time, and this effect activates a lot. The range gear applies the cosmic status effect to both the full auto and the high caliber shot. The cosmic status effect allows Widow to heal, but the biggest reason I use it is because it is a positive status effect. Widow is able to apply shock damage with her Widow's Bite Assault Heroic, and shock damage is a negative effect. When you combine cosmic and shock damage, the status effect damage gets amplified even further, allowing you to do an insane amount of damage. This defensive gear provides several benefits associated with invisibility, 20% increased willpower regeneration, and a 15% increased critical hit chance when invisible. And the simple act of defeating an enemy has a 35% chance of granting invisibility, so basically defeating one in every three enemies is good enough to grant invisibility. The heroic gear slot guarantees a critical hit when attacking an enemy from behind while invisible, but the next two perks are really what help complete the build. It grants a flat 15% extra damage when you're invisible and increases the duration of invisibility by 3 seconds, which makes all the invisibility activators from the other gear perks more effective. I'm gonna go fast through the skills, but I'll make sure to point out the most important skills for the build. I like Night Terror because it increases how long you'll be invisible, but the 25% increase in critical chance is just massive. I use Vito's Bite specifically to deal with the toughest enemies. I like Taser Dart because it allows you to target a specific enemy. It latches on and deals shock damage. This is combined with the cosmic damage I mentioned earlier to take down some of the most difficult enemies with absolute ease. In the Mastery Tree, Overcharged range is great. It gives you an extra 10% range damage while overcharged. Intrinsic Charge allows you to build the Shadow Ops meter faster, which gives you a damage boost when activated. I like Extended Magazines because if you have more bullets in a magazine, the less you're having to reload. Invisible ranged is a no-brainer, 12% increased ranged attack while invisible. You definitely want the 15% increased critical attack damage because almost all attacks end up being critical hits with this build. In the utility slot, we have to go with the extra 10 ranged damage of course. In the champion tree, I'm focused on the ranged damage boost and the critical damage boost. Those two are the most important. This build is fairly one-dimensional when you get down to it. Widow's invisibility is your best defense, and all the gear perks are based on granting invisibility or helping you crit or do more damage while invisible. You're going to mostly be using high caliber shot to do insane range damage on common enemies and throwing Widow's Bite into the mix when facing the tougher enemies and bosses with a lot of health. This build melts through absolutely everything, and I definitely think Black Widow and this build are absolutely overpowered in this game.